Henry into the final scrum 10 half. minutes. Henry Hinnant scrum half here so they can drive. We haven't really seen Alan drive in this game. France trying to hang off. It's taken on initially by Heaslip and then O'Brien. And now Toner gets those ladder-like legs moving. Ireland with the one try so far. Tempted to think one more. And they'd be very nearly there. This is O'Brien. Heaslip. Rory Best's waiting for it. So is O'Brien. And he's charging to the line. Six metres short. Henderson's waiting, the defence was waiting for him, but he wriggled beyond it, stretching for the line, Henry held up short, but he had the wherewithal to keep the legs driving, best! Not there, not quite, to touch the post. They he scored. now they've scored! It was very nearly Rory Best, it was Conor Murray, and Ireland have the second score that might just mean the easier route in the semi-finals. Really intelligent play by Conor Murray there, knowing the laws. The try line comes around, and the base of the, the post protector is the try line. Spotting it, no French defender was there. It's fantastic play by Ireland. Route one, direct, dominant physical rugby. Yeah, the forwards carrying absolutely superb, bouncing out of challenges, getting the fens up. In behind France, they can't get any front foot drive. And you can see the last person you want defending when the, there's a post in the way is Remy Tallis. You, you fly half, you want one of the big forwards in there who's used to defending around the fringes of the breakdown. And Tallis just happy to stand there alongside the post, and there was only going to be one winner. Cushion is a very plump, 12.1 now. We've got seven and a half minutes to go. And increasingly, it looks as if Ireland will avoid the All Blacks in the quarterfinals. It's no gimme against Argentina in the quarters for a place in the semis, but...